I cheated on my second husband with our boss, married him, and 10 years later, I'm in the middle of a divorce and pregnant with my ex-husband's baby. The rest of the story. So, I'm basically in this position where... Now, now we're not just going to skip past that. Like, you ain't just say what you just said. Like, we're not just going to mosey over that. Like, that was just some, like, normal thing that occurs. We're going to have to run that back. I cheated on my second husband with our boss, married him, and 10 years later, I'm in the middle of a divorce and pregnant with my ex-husband's baby. The rest of the story. So I'm basically in this position where I have um, no money. All of my money is being, I'm signing over my checks, like pay to the order of unnamed boss. He's depositing it in his account. The only money that I have is money that I'm getting for child support, which all that money was going towards daycare. At this point, Anthony is still seeing Penelope. Anthony saw Penelope. I guess we separated around the time she was nine months. He continued to see her up until until she was about three, maybe a few months older. Um, and we would communicate through this email address. Um, my dog's going crazy back there. I don't even know who's fighting. Um, we communicated through this email address. He would say when he wanted to see her, I would say, okay. Um, and he would see her. Um, and everything was going fine. Then at some point, I just stopped getting emails asking for him to see her. People are like, why didn't you reach out to him or whatever? I kind of had some I felt some type of way because I felt like I shouldn't have to beg him to see his daughter. And I personally felt like I thought he just didn't want to see her anymore because it was just getting to be too difficult for him or whatever. And I didn't want to beg him um, to be in her life. My thing was always like, I'm not going to beg someone to love their kid. Like you either love her or you don't. Little did I know that he was actually contacting me, um, actually was under the impression that I was setting up and agreeing to times for him to have a uh, custody of Penelope, but I just wasn't showing up. And I did not know this until 10 years later. Literally, I just learned this like six months ago that there were times and he has witnesses, his family that would drive up four hours to from Virginia to Maryland to pick her up and we just wouldn't be there. But I didn't even know that I was supposed to be there. I'm thinking that he's not contacting her. Um, so we had a lot of drama in the relationship with me and unnamed boss. We did not get married right away, mostly because I wasn't interested in getting married. Um, and there was just, it seemed like our relationship was basically at this point fueled by the drama that we were dealing with. Um, and then once that kind of settled down after those first three years, then the light kind of really shone, I shone, shined. The spotlight was on us. I don't know how to say it. The spotlight was basically on us. And um, it was my opinion that um, I started to see like a lot of, I guess, I don't even know how to say it, um, because I'm just trying to tell the things that happened and not necessarily my feelings on the people or the situations, but some things started to happen. Um, I started to realize that um, I was, it's my opinion, that I was under uh, surveillance like 24-7 um, in my car. Um, phone conversations that I was having would be repeated back to me that uh, no one else was present for, except for myself, um, and it just started to feel like it's my opinion that I started to feel like I was like being held, if that makes sense. I, I'm trying to, I don't want to use the stronger words, but um, it, it's my opinion. That's how I felt. Um, and I, I want to go back to this specific part. Okay. I want to go, I want to go back to right around this area. Count. The only money that I have is money that I'm getting for child support, which all that money was going towards daycare. At this point, Anthony is still seeing Penelope. Anthony saw Penelope. I guess we separated around the time she was nine months. He continued to see her up until she was about three, maybe a few months older. Um, and we would communicate through this email address. Um, my dog's going crazy back there. I don't even know who's fighting. Um, we Your dog is fighting all the foolishness. <laughs> Your dog is back there fighting for his life. All the demons and the foolishness that you done entertained creating all this damn drama. <laughs> like, that's who the dog is fighting. For real. Like, that is who the dog is, is back there tussling with. Just being honest. <laughs> like, I don't even know what this woman is talking about. Like, I have no idea. Obviously, this this was a long, like, maybe a couple part series or whatever. I don't know. All I know is this is the biggest representation that women need, desperately need, a man's leadership. Women without men, I say this all the time, women without men are like a ship without a sail. Okay? And... Let's be clear, because I know the people going to come up in here and try to drag me. The ship need to sail. The sail needs the ship. <laughs> okay? But I'm just being clear. 
We need each other, yes. But a lot of women have a lot of trouble with direction, guidance. Because this woman clearly has been in a space that she did not know what she wanted at all. Was just going with the flow, willy-nilly. Just making moves, stepping out there, stepping back, making another move, stepping out there, seeing whatever happens. Like, this just shows that women need the guidance. Because if not, their life reflects chaos. Even the, the dog so mad, even the dog mad at you. He like, if she tell this story one more time. <laughs> the dog said, if she tell this story one more time, I'm flipping the couch. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't take her either, but nobody won't come pick me up. Because I don't even know who my daddy is, right? The dog is like, I don't even know who I belong to. Because of the chaos. And what's so, what's so like mind boggling to me is that there's so many women who come out here and just like talk about this chaos, like talk about their chaotic lifestyles. And they just kind of like mosey over like, oh yeah, ha, ha, ha. like, oh yeah, my ex is da, 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 da. And then so exactly. So then what happened was, so then after that, so then this and then this, and then now you're going to a whole story about a man and his child or whatever. It just sound like foolishness. You can't even you can't even talk from a base of well I can't force nobody to love their child because it just sounds like chaos. It just sounds like we shouldn't be on your side. Like it just sounds like you don't know what you're doing. Just being real, guys. I don't know this person personally. I'm, if you put a video up and I react to it, it's not personal to you. I don't know you. This is to I am this is strictly for the conversation. I'm going based off of what you said, I'm saying something. This is a response. But a lot of women make moves like this. A lot of women are in relationships and marriages. We've seen it over and over again. It's like a common thread of things that I've been talking about lately, oh, just strictly about marriage in itself. Which I think is is purposeful because there's so many people who talk about, oh, I want to be married. I want a husband. I wanted this and I wanted that. But, like, we need to get to the real details, like the real problems. Because anybody can get married if they want to. But we're trying to limit the amount of unhappy marriages and the amount of divorces. So, in order, you need all the details before you sign up and jump into this endeavor. Because this woman was married, okay, stepped out, then got married to, now leaving that marriage and going back to the first marriage. It just, that confusion. The masters of confusion. It doesn't make, it, there's no calculation in the steps that are being taken. And again, this is why women need the direction of men. Women need the leadership of men. Because women not only do it with, you know, divorce, stepping in, stepping out. Women also do it with children. This, uh, okay, you had a baby with this person. It was clear as day that that situation was not going to work out. And you was over here fending for the child and this person was doing whatever. Then you did it second time. Then you did it third time. Then you did it fourth. Like, because men are naturally logical, because men are naturally structured, more structured, men will look and be like, okay, hold up. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do this. And this also proves that women never really know what's best for them. They never truly know. They lean off a of feeling. Oh, I feel, I feel like, girl, if you, listen, if you trust the way that you feel all the time, you will always be living in chaos because feelings fluctuate. It's like that song is emotional roller coaster for a reason because feelings change. Feelings are fleeting. Feelings will make you get divorced. Right? Because of how you feel for a certain period of time. Logic will say, okay, let's think this whole three, let's, let's think about the whole thing. 
Let's think about the pros, the cons, the this, the this. Let's not just think about my emotions right now. Emotions only matter to yourself. That's it. Emotions literally do not matter to anyone else outside of you. And a lot of women have to understand that. But again, I don't know. I don't even know what she was talking about in this video. Okay, I have no idea what she was talking about. All I know is the dog fight in the air. <laughs> the dog about to rip up the couch because of the foolishness. She tried to mosey over that she done cheated on her husband with the boss, divorcing the boss, cheated on him with the husband. Like, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions in this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Thank you.